What's up, everybody? This is Gina from the Okie Doke Show. I'm here with Dan from uh, Dark Helmet Collectibles. We're representing over here from Frankincense, and uh, we just wanted to talk to you, Dan, about your collection and what you do over here. Uh, thanks for taking the time to meet us. No problem, Gina. I appreciate it, the opportunity. Um, we're Dark Helmet Collectibles, and we've been here about 10 years in Frankincense. Okay. And what happened was uh, about 10 years ago, I used to own a security business, which I still own, but I was selling uh, at gun shows, other uh, venues, and someone came up to me and told me about Frankincense, and I had a couple of boxes of toys. Uh -huh. I came to Frankincense 10 years ago. The first day I stepped uh, foot on the property, I loved it. It was a great atmosphere, great opportunity for me, and I've been growing ever since, and now I'm one of the biggest vendors in yeah, Frankincense. I, I, I see that. I have about 10 booths here, wow. and I love selling toys to people. Uh -huh. And I just buy all kinds of collections. All like to, all, all meet, meet a lot of interesting people. Of I interesting see you people. did a transaction where people will sell you stuff, and you make a deal based on what it's going for. Correct. That way you try to Correct. make a little bit of a profit in between. Correct. Like, okay. So people walk up to me and try to sell me their uh, uh, stuff, and I just uh, scan it, see what it is. I give them a, a bid, and they say yes or no, and okay. we go from there. Okay. So that's pretty much like, uh, like what do you do in your average day, like when you're open up in Frankincense? Like, what, what do people come and ask you for? Like, what's what's a, what's a typical day for you? Well, a typical day would be uh, get here usually on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Uh, Wednesdays at about 12 in the afternoon. They let us in earlier before the, the vendors get here, uh -huh. I mean, before the customers get here. Uh -huh. And we open up and we just start putting stuff up, cleaning stuff up, uh, pricey stuff, making sure everything is uh, at a certain... Uh, um, setting up uh, yeah, for the day. Yeah, setting up stuff, making sure it's good, out there, presentable for people. and Because uh, we buy a lot of stuff, so we can't bring it all up at once. We take about a couple of weeks at a time. We can bring stuff yeah. out. That's what we do here at a day. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. So I noticed that taking looking around, like a lot of stuff is nostalgic to my era, uh, a lot of a lot of history behind this stuff, a lot of stuff that's probably older than me, and and uh, like all kinds of genres. So Cor like, what's some of your like uh, like what's some of your personal favorites? And correct, we sell a lot of vintage stuff. We're one of the biggest vintage uh, vendors in the property, and uh, we sell a lot of uh, we sell everything from the '80s and '90s. So there's so much stuff that I don't even know what everything's everything is. Mm -hmm. But my favorite stuff is like what I grew up with, obviously like Ghostbusters, uh, GI Joe. He-Man, Star so, Wars. OG Transformers. Yeah, OG Transformers. Silver Hawks. Right, uh, right, We have right. a lot of wrestlers. You know, the Hulksters here, you know, WrestleMania. Okay. We have a lot of different stuff, you know. Cool, very cool. Um, do you play a lot of uh, any of the video games or any, any of um, I don't play a lot of video games. Um, I'm from 72. I'm 45 years old. But I have uh, a lot of kids. And I, buy them, I just bought a gamer TV, Sony. And my son's got every single console you can think of. Oh, yeah. And I always download video games. Okay. So he's always getting video games. Do you every tell him about the stuff you used to play, like the retro stuff, oh, of course. like Nintendo? Like Pac Man stuff, yeah. of course. Are of they course. into that stuff at all? Yeah, they are. They, they got a little, uh, yeah, they, they get into all they the old school the, stuff. They respect the yeah, old school Yeah, but they're more, they like more the newer stuff, too. They like the Halo and, and the like fighting Gears, game, Call Gears of Duty. Gears of War, Call yeah. of Duty, stuff like that. They're into. I'm always buying those for him, right too. Yeah. So, uh, in your opinion, like, where do you see like yourself in, the, in, like, in this industry and culture heading? Um, I see myself uh, doing very well. I mean, um, right here is like basically my storefront, right? And then I, my uh, my basically a lot of my sales online, dark helmet collectibles. I sell on Walmart, uh, Amazon, eBay, and I sell a lot of products. So on that's there, how people so. will look you up, dark helmet collectibles. collectibles. You have a website up, and everything. Yes, yes. Yeah, social media and all that stuff. Too? Yes, I do. Okay, so if they want to do a special request, they can just reach out to you. Correct. They just send me an email through Amazon, Walmart, eBay. Okay, so hey, dark helmet. Yeah. I mentioned I, I saw Frank and Sons. They can email me anything. Stuff like that, yeah. Right, cool. Like, what's what's your personal favorite out of all these things I hear? Like, what do you price? Like, what's what's your most prized possession or most meaningful? You know what? I, I have a lot of stuff that I like. I mean, uh, I like a lot of the horror stuff. I like the Freddy Kruegers, the Nightmare. Um, that's kind of your thing. Your that's corner? like kind of my thing because that's my era. I used to watch that with the Johnny uh -huh. Depp came out in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. That's what I like. Uh, but there's everything. I mean, there's Star Wars. I grew up with Star Wars too. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. I was from '72, and uh, I like a different stuff. I mean. There's a lot of new stuff like Dragon Ball Z that was, you know, that, that's in the 80s, 90s. Yeah. You know, yeah. so just stuff like that. Yeah, what's the craziest thing someone tried to sell you? I bought a, I bought a, not too long ago, uh, someone passed away in, a, in their storage. They had a, like this uh, um, Frankenstein, uh, a real, I guess it's a movie props, but like the hair felt like it was real. It's a big monster in the boots you put over. And it was just kind of crazy. Was it, it a costume? Or it was a costume. Wow. It was like a mask too. It was wow. like a mask too. It was wow. like a mask. Mask you put on. Right, and right. It just felt realistic and it was really old. And I was hoping How, it wasn't real skin. Or yeah, anything. yeah, yeah. How'd you come across that? Somebody just somebody brought it in. Uh, somebody bought it somewhere. And, and they, I guess they bought it. And then somebody bought it from them. And they, they held it for like 30, 40, 50 years. And then they finally passed away. And 
they had in their storage. I guess one of their, their family did you, members. Did you end up buying it? I ended up buying it, yeah, yeah. I ended up buying that with a bunch of toys. It was a big storage. At the end of the storage, we found that case, and the case is from the 60s. Wow. And they had a bunch of stuff wow. in there. And you got to get that certified. Yeah, I'm pretty right, sure. Right, look, yeah, eventually I'm going to get that looking through. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's okay. crazy. All right. Well, Dan from uh, Dark Helmet Collectibles, thanks for your time. As you can tell, this is one of the mini booths. You can search for him online, Amazon, Walmart, anywhere. eBay, eBay. probably, too? eBay. All right. All right, Dan, thanks for your time. I appreciate, appreciate it. it Thank you for Thank the opportunity. You. you guys have a great day, and we'll see you soon. This is Dan Santander from Dark Helmet Collectibles, and you've been okie-doked.